The next thing I want to show you is our window coverings, our blinds. Now you're probably thinking, well everybody has window coverings, what's the big deal? It's especially critical in a house like this because we use the sun for passive means, called passive solar. So what that involves is basically using your window coverings for maximum effect. Now it's summertime right now, so what we do to keep the house from heating up too much is we actually close the blinds. So we'll close these blinds after about 9 or 10 a.m. Trap in the cool night air. We leave the windows open overnight, get the cool air throughout the house, and then close the windows, close the blinds, and trap that cool air in. In the winter time, it's pretty much the opposite. You leave the, all the windows closed, of course, and we keep the blinds open to let the passive solar sun heat in. And that actually, uh, on many mornings and for most of the year, that's all we need as far as heat and cooling to just limit the amount or maximize the amount of sunshine and cool air that comes into the house. We do heat the house, as I mentioned, with the wood stove, um, but that's really just it for about four of the winter months. So we can get away without air conditioning, um, without using our furnace, because we use the passive features of this house. I'll show you, we do have a forced air furnace oh that's the water heater just regular old gas water heater with insulation on it extra insulation and we're going to be doing the uh, um, water solar thermal system from the Power for Patriots here this fall. So I'll show you that when that's done. And here is our furnace. Regular old forced air furnace that hasn't been turned on in five years. It is a brand spanky new. You can even look at that filter and see that it, it, it it's clean as a whistle. We just don't use it. 